Hey everyone and welcome to another episode of Let's Play Again. Today we're going to be uh, talking about the game which accompanied an anime series called The Animaniacs. Yay! I used to love the, anima the Animaniacs when I was a little kid. Like, I watched this show religiously. I but, um... used to watch it a bit and uh, before we actually continue I'm going to have to apologize that this is actually going to be quite a short episode purely because the game sucks. Yeah, it's it's absolutely awful, actually. <laughs> like, I couldn't even get through it. Actually, my game continued to crash. It was just that bad. Which is rather impressive for a Mega Drive game. I know. <laughs> but, oh well. I mean, so you start Anyways. off in this original... I don't know what the purpose of this area is, because it's just like a preface to the rest of the game. Yeah, and I it, feel like it's just a tutorial. And for some reason, it plays a lot slower than the rest of the game. Yeah, it does. I love how he goes, like, you try to walk really fast, but you could only walk, like, in slow motion. Yeah, I don't really know why that is. It's very strange. I guess it kind of introduces the Warner Brothers set as well, a, a bit, but... But, um, as you can see, we are playing as Dot right now, but there's also Yakko and Wako, and... Uh, Yakko, I believe, is the really tall one, and Wacko is the short one, and then Dot, of course, is the girl. And um, they each have like different moves that they can use. <laughs> Look at those animations. Oh yeah, it's it's <laughs> glorious. Do you continue? But uh, okay, so uh, each person has a <laughs> each person each animaniac more so has um, a specific move that they do. So like Dot, you see like she's super cute, so she used her cute skills in order to attract people and birds and dogs, apparently. Yes. And then uh, Wacko, he's a bit of the dim-witted one, so he's always just slamming things with a hammer. And then Wacko can push things, but he can also use a little, um, a, what are they called? Ping pong. Uh, the Ping pong balls, yeah, there you go. The thing that is, it's basically copies the exact premise of Argo Monsters, but does it a lot worse. Yeah, pretty much. So if you didn't like Agro Monsters, you probably will hate this. I mean, here, it, the gameplay doesn't look too bad, it's just that it's all very strange. Like the fact yeah. that you have to change the characters so often just to solve the simplest of puzzles is quite annoying. Mm -hmm. And just a lot of the levels just don't really have anything about them. Like, there's not a lot that can really kill you in this game, unless if it's just like a minor annoyance. Yeah, or it's generally something that you did wrong. Yeah. And you can get stuck really easily in this game, I found. Like, if you do one wrong thing, it's very, very simple to just fail. Yeah. And it, uh... It's just, it's just. I mean, look, the characters are all glitching here because they're like, oh, there's not enough. I know. There's, not, there's not enough room for us to walk. Oh, there we go. Just walking off the side there. <laughs> oh, this is just so terrible. But yeah, so I think this is all we're going to yep. cover of this game. Um, if you want to try it for yourself, then feel free. But don't say we recommended it. No. <laughs> Well, that's it this episode of Let's Play Again. Thank you for listening and watching. This has been a GameUnion.net production.